a story about a couple of pals who set up lighthouse keeping on top of a lighthouse near Montevideo. And by a strange coincidence, their names happened to be Monty and Vidal. I suppose you wonder why the little fella's keeping his eye on the big one. Well, Monty, the big pelican, is a somnambulist. You know, flies in his sleep, and somebody has to stay up and watch him in case he takes off. And little Viddy, the snipe, he's that somebody, and he watches over him with untiring devotion. If that isn't true friendship, I don't know what is. And Monty doesn't even realize it. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? There he goes. Whenever Monty dreams he's a dive bomber, it's little Viddy's job to pull him out of dives. Look, imagine what would happen to Monty if little Viddy wasn't along. See? Just one narrow squeak after another. What a life he leads. And this sort of thing goes on night after night. It's wearing little Viddy down. But here's the irony of it. At the crack of dawn, Marty is up fresh as a daisy, full of vim and vinegar. One, two, one, two, up, down, up. He can't understand why Viddy is so dead tired in the morning. Oh well, thought Marty. No use waiting for that snoring snipe. Am I hungry? Could I use a little seafood? Oh, I forgot to mention the airplanes. Every day they practice maneuvers around the harbor. Marty's crazy about planes. But poor little Viddy could get along without them. The next night, Viddy tried a new plan to keep Monty out of danger. Somehow, I don't think this is going to work. little Viddy. No wonder he's getting tremendous bags under his eyes. There must be a way out. Little Viddy racked his brain. There must be a way out. No, no, Monty, relax. What to do, oh, what to do? No, no. Oh, no. Where would he get an elephant? Oh, no, not that. That? Yes, that. Well, looks like little Viddy's troubles are over. Why didn't he think of this before?
so. This is that snipe's idea of a practical joke. <laughs> he gave Viddy a withering look that said, You ungrateful gutter snipe. You molting mallard. Sleep all day and play tricks on me at night, will you? You, you sawed-off sandpiper. You've destroyed my faith in birds. Go and never darken my lighthouse again. of a fine feathered friendship. Now Monty's all alone. Oh, just what I was afraid of. There he goes and with no little Viddy to guide him. Now he thinks he's a flying fortress. He'll have to solo it tonight. No, he'll have company. The Air Force is out on night maneuvers. Hey, what's the big idea, you? Why don't you look where you're going? Oh, how did I get up here? And then it dawned on him, flying in his sleep. What an injustice he'd done to poor Viddy. Oh, what a cad I turned out to be. Wait a minute. Do you want to see how close this really is? Well, everything's patched up and the two birds are buddies again. I suppose you're wondering about Monty. Oh, don't worry about him. Little Viddy has solved that problem once and for all but I'll bet he'll have a dizzy pelican on his hands in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 